Sorry about the light, it's a little bit glaring. Um, that's because it's a sunny day in Brighton, and Brighton is where I'm vlogging from. So, so these are my surgery results. Um, my surgery was done by Dr. Van Lunen in Amsterdam. It was covered by my insurance. Initially, they didn't want to cover it, but I knew somebody else with less coverage from the same company who did have the surgery paid for by his insurance. So I went over the insurance policy and found that they did cover mastectomies for cis men with gynecomastia. And then I went through the national insurance laws and found out that discrimination on the basis of sex is indeed illegal. So I contacted the insurance company and presented these two side by side. And a week later, they uh, they consented to cover it and said that they, there had been some sort of mistake and, uh, and they were very sorry. I do actually have a lot of tips about preparing for surgery, but they're not going to fit in this video. So, fortunately, I did do two videos recently on preparing for top surgery uh, on my own channel. Here's the one I did on preparing your home before surgery, and here's the one uh, I did on what to bring to the hospital. I did forget one thing in the hospital video, though, and that is, if you're going to be staying at the hospital as an inpatient, bring slippers for the bathroom. Um, I wanted to wash off the first morning after the surgery, and I, I did bring slippers, but I just couldn't be bothered to find them and put them on. Um, and just from standing in the washroom on bare feet for about two minutes, I contracted like a satanic host of foot infections like you would not believe. It cost me about six weeks and 60 euros worth of medication, that's over $85, to perform the necessary exorcisms. Um, it was nasty bring slippers, really. Do as little as possible in the first couple of weeks. Eat as well as you can, eat as well as you can manage. Um, take it very easy. And when the surgeon says you need to take six weeks before starting to exercise again, then take six weeks before starting to exercise again. Um, and if the exercises you're doing after that uh, are giving you any sharp pains, then stop immediately, um, because that's not good. Also, mind that when you start exercising again, you'll be mad weak in comparison to what you were before the surgery, especially when the exercises involve the pectoral muscles in any kind of way. Um, for instance, before surgery, I could do about 60 to 70 consecutive press-ups. And seven weeks after surgery, I could do 11 with extreme difficulty. Um, it's quite shocking at first, but don't worry, you'll recover strength really quickly from there on out. And that's about it. It's a sunny day. I want to go out. I want to try and swim. So um, see you next week.